Hi everyone, come and join me today as I show you what I shopped at Michael's and I show you some finished projects. <laughs> are in downtown Toronto. It's a three stories micro store. Canada Day is coming up. So lots of Canada Day things.
Nice, nice, and that was, mm -hmm. I missed it, it seems like it is when I was small. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Rosie from Nona Stitching Lounge. Welcome to my channel. Thank you to all the subscribers that have come back and to any of the new viewers um, and new subscribers. Thanks for coming by. So I come to you from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and uh, today is a beautiful sunny day. Um, I um, haven't done a video for quite a, a long time. Um, just, it's been crazy busy. We had Canada Day and then we had um, some friends from uh, the States for their July 4th. And uh, it's just been uh, pretty busy going back and forth. But I have been crocheting. Um, I, I, you know, can socialize and crochet at the same time. But then again, most of us can, right? So I want to show you, first of all, a finished product, project that I did. So I... I think I told you I was going to make this um, crochet pattern that I um, was actually 
called a Make Do Sarasota Poncho, and it was um, shown on Jeannie's On the Hook crochet. And um, so I did make it. I'm wearing it, but I want to tell you a little bit about how I changed the pattern. So this is what I do all the time is I find a pattern, I look at it, um, look at how I could potentially make it fit me and, and make it look better and um, just change it a little bit. So the first thing I did was I made it a vest. So you can see, I, uh, and I also put a little button here so that it, it stays put a little bit better. The button doesn't stay put. There we go. Um, you can see. So yeah, so I left the front open. I sewed the back and I made it just long enough to be a little vest um, that I can, I can actually, you know, wear to work or wear out just to cover, cover up a sleeveless top like I'm wearing sleeveless tank top. Now I did do some other changes. Um, the first thing was that I learned recently how to, um, instead of doing like a long chain and then double crocheting or all along the chain, I do a foundation row that you can half double and chain, half double and chain, half double and chain, or double or single or whatever. So I prefer to do that now. And so I did that here, and it actually turned out pretty cool because, um, I'll show you why. So this, let me show you, first of all, this is two, two rectangles sewn together, okay? This is one pattern, this beginning is one pattern, and it's pretty much, and it's done lengthwise, and it's a double V. And it actually, it, it um, makes a really nice collar because um, they tell you to actually sew this end to start here with a chain stitch at, at, on this side to start a big long chain. What I did is here at the beginning, I did a double, I sorry, did a half crochet and I chained. And what that did, I don't know if you can see, is it, you don't get that tension when you do a chain stitch, when you do a like big long chain, you get a really nice um, edge. So that when I went to do the second pattern, to attach this next pattern, I just added it to the foundation half double and, and continued. So I did a, a half double and then I did a, a double chain space and then a, a skip one double chain, two double, sorry, two double crochet, skip one, two double crochet, skip one. And I did that kind of box stitch. And then I ended with the You'll see the half double where I sewed it all up together. Now this box stitch was not part of the pattern. Um, the pattern actually called for a, another sort of fan stitch. You can see. And I just thought that with the double V and with the fan, it just seemed to be too much. I preferred the contrast with the double, the double V here and this more boxy stitch. So um, in the pattern, it also says to start the next pattern along this row, but I did it along the foundation row because it just it went smoother and it also left the vest uh, a nice little edge, right? So I thought that was kind of cute like that. So anyway, I don't know if I explained myself. So the changes I made were, was 
from this uh, Make Do and Crew free Sarasota poncho is I did, I chained, I changed, sorry, this piece and I made it a vest and I made it longer. All right, so that's it. Huh. In my last video, I also had started another top, which I didn't have enough to finish. And so everybody said, okay, go get some more and finish it. So I, I actually finished it, sewed it all up, and I hated it. It didn't fall right. It just, I don't know. Anyway, I, I, I frogged the whole thing. Yep. I know Lisa from Lisa's Crochet is probably just gagging right now, thinking of me frogging the whole thing. But I just, I wasn't going to use it. So now I have all that yarn that I frogged. But I did start another, um, uh, another bathing suit cover and I will do a top with that but I haven't decided what I want to do with it so I found this picture last year it didn't come with any pattern and I don't know I couldn't find a pattern but this is the picture so I kind of you'll see it so I already made one of these using Karen Cotton Cakes, and I am on my second. I gave that one away already this weekend to my friends that were visiting. She loved it while I was making it, and so I made it for her. Um, so I am making another one for me. So it's not wide enough yet, but you'll see. It'll, it'll be sewn here. Again, I changed the pattern a little bit. I tried to follow that pattern, the picture I just showed you. Um, and I will sew it here. But um, I love this color. This is the, I think, beach glass. So um, basically it's, again, I used the double crochet foundation row to do that edge. And it just turns out so much nicer. So maybe I will do a tutorial one day to show you how to do the double crochet foundation row. So I, use, I did that and then I did a um, sort of lacy uh, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, then I did two rows of doubles, then I did another lace stitch, two rows of double, and then I just... And then I thought, okay, for under the arm and on the side, it would be kind of neat to do just the chain stitches. So I'm going to basically sew this up. I'm not done yet because I don't think it's wide enough for me. It was wide enough for my friend who's not as big as I am. And um, yeah, so that'll do that. And I used, and I ran out of the beach glass, but I bought a lot. I bought more of this, uh, just of this blue or this kind of tealy greeny really nice so that's one piece done but I still I think I have to make a little wider and then I am on the second piece let's see and then I will be putting them together and and then sewing it sewing it up probably from here and then do that um, that uh, little, uh, you see that where it um, laces all up. And I might do the fringe. I did do the fringe for my friend. That looks kind of cute. So that's what I've been working on. Um, and um, I have still some whips that I haven't touched, blankets and things like that that I haven't touched. Um, so, but I did find another pattern that I may try, um, which is really cute. It's called a Summer Air Tunic. Um, I'm not sure if I paid for it or not. I don't think so. But I thought that was really cute too. Similar to, I think, the one I'm making. So, and then I, I the one, the pink one I made um, with the four big granny squares. I wore it um, to a friend's uh, barbecue and uh, pool party and she wants one. 
So now I've got to order some uh, yarn. She wants it in an ice blue, so I have to order the bamboo um, so that uh, I can make her one. And uh, speaking of which, she also wants me to knit her granddaughter, or sorry, crochet her granddaughter's ponchos. And so she's bought me these three colors to do her granddaughters. One is, I think, nine, one is five, and one is a baby. So, so I'll be doing um, just an easy poncho. These are, this is the Red Heart Super Saver. So she bought the yarn. I gave her the name. She liked one I had made my granddaughter. So this is Anemone. Anemona? Anemona. Anyway, I love that color. This one's the coral, sea coral. And this is the deep teal. So, so that'll be a fall project for my friend's granddaughters. Um, so that I also, let's see, went to Michael. Oh, before I went to Michael's, I want to show you. I ordered, so we got in the uh, email um, from uh, Nick Crate a 50% off, um, oops, where's my top going? 50% <laughs> off. So I ordered, you know how I got in June, I got the purple Knit Crate. Well, I wound it. purple I wound it and so I had two balls um, from knit crate which I have not used yet and I bought two more so now I have four because I love purple and I think it's gonna be beautiful anyway I don't know if you can see the the way this is actually um, wound it's really interesting wound it's like a cord it's really pretty anyway so I got the four tootness so now I have four and this was the knit crate for June which was the um, Vitalana which was 48% uh, merino wool 20% baby alpaca and 32% organic cotton so I got and, uh, how many yards I think it was 274 yards, so now I have four of those. So well over a thousand yards to do something much bigger than a shawl. So we'll see what that comes out to be. And the other thing I was in their, um, their store, the Knit Crate. If you're a Knit Crate subscriber, you, um, you also got to purchase um, from their, I guess, their discount store. So, so uh, this is just balls that I wound. This was actually uh, the Karen Pantone bamboo that I finally got Nono and myself used to <laughs> using the Swift. I found a table outside that I could attach the Swift to. And so uh, from Nick Crate, I bought three of these. So it's a... Uh, a size four it's beautiful it's it's a little brighter in the picture but it's a little more subdued um and i think i'll make a nice sweater for the fall so there's three of them and this one is um Audine wool's halo dk and it's 50 percent alpaca 30 percent merino wool and 20 percent nylon and there's 236 yards so that'll be that'll be Probably a really nice shawl or something nice and it's it looks like a four-way I think it says 3DK but it looks it's actually a uh, doesn't say it says use size three and a half 3.25 3.75 needle size but doesn't say crochet but it's definitely I would say a four anyway so purchased those from Knit Crate, and I wound up a whole bunch of balls because I bought at Michael's. I bought more of the gray bamboo. It was on sale. Um, this is the Karen Pantone, 
And I think I bought another one of the blue, Karen Pantone, um, so that I have more. I just haven't done anything with it. Um, this was the ghost gray and I think just a navy. So I will do something and I'll mix and match with those as well as these really pretty from Nickel. So bought that and I will show you some other things quickly on whatever else I bought. Um, hold on. So, um, Michael's had Karen Simply Soft on sale, and I think it was something like two ninety nine. So I ended up buying purple. Imagine that. Medium four lavender blue. Actually, it's called lavender blue. And I want to show you. Um, they had some other like oranges and that kind of stuff on sale on clearance and eh. I thought this was really pretty lavender work and then I went through my stash and I had bought some stuff from Hershner's last year <laughs> Guess what was in it the same lavender blue So this was a stash I bought from Hershner's last year that I haven't done anything with it So I got a couple of more that actually probably identical to that. <laughs> Am I predictable or what? <laughs> Rose? Yes, I'll always go I'll always go towards the purples. Okay. And the other thing I ended up buying at Michael's. So I got another one of these again with the purple and the blue cuz I had two. Now I have three and I'll be able to maybe make I don't know, maybe another top like the one I made. I bought uh, another gray because I really like the way um, this turned out and I think I'd like to make one um, that's not a vest but closed so um, yeah so I thought I'd and oh these were all on sale these were all seven dollars actually interestingly the, the the ad said seven dollars I went on my lunch hour the sign said nine dollars so I went um, down to the cashier and I said, I don't know, your ad, your sign says nine, but it's, it's seven dollars. And actually they rang up at seven dollars. So in here in Canada, these are 12. I know in the States they're 10, but here they're 12. So seven dollars was at least 40% off. Um, I bought another one of these because I had one and I had bought um, like an orange to go with it, but it doesn't match. So, so I figured I better buy another one while they still have them. And then I bought two more of these blues because they're really pretty. So I might do something. It's, it matches this one. It actually does match this, surprisingly. Um, and um, I'll do something with just the blue and the cotton. And then because I'd never tried it before, I bought some Feels Like Butter. And um, it has that spun, it's spun, I don't know what people call it something. It doesn't, it doesn't split, it's like a spun. Anyway, so I bought two of the blues, which I can make a baby sweater, really cute. Uh, somebody a sweater. And um, two of the grays. So this one is charcoal and uh, 100, they're all 100% polyester machine washable and dryable. So that's pretty cool. And this one's called dusty blue. So those are pretty colors. Yeah. So that's really all I got. It was These were all $7 as well. So that was pretty good. And it has quite a lot of yardage. This is like 590 yards. Okay, so I got some happy mail. Um, actually, I was watching, um, I was watching, what was I watching? The Yarn Closet with Kitty and her daughter. Um, gosh, Laura, Kitty and Laura. And I don't know, I put a comment on there, on one of their videos, and um, Kitty sent me an email and said she was watching one of my videos um, and that she had three lighted hooks that light up 
that she wanted to give a, that she wanted to send me. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I go, I've never tried them, but so you could, I don't know if you can see, they turn on. And um, so I sent her my address, and the next thing I know, I've got three lighted hooks um, using a three G three A battery, one in a size five, one in a four and a half, and one in a five and a half. So like great sizes. And she also sent me the batteries. Like, really? I don't know. Isn't that nice? So, yeah. So, thank you so much, Kitty. I, you know, I, it was just like out of the blue. And then, like, a couple days later, she sent me um, these hooks. So, I haven't had a chance to use them yet because they're a little small for the, the type of yarn I've been using. But uh, definitely going to go to good use, use. So, thank you so much. So, that was extremely nice of Kitty from the yarn closet. Um, so go on, yeah, go watch her and her daughter Laura at the yarn closet. I think I gave them a shout out in the past, but um, so I thought that was really, really nice. Um, what else have I done? Um, I think that's all I have done. Um, I did want to give some shout outs. Um, to a couple of new channels that um, I've been watching. One of them is Madonna Ballard, and I think a lot of you know Madonna because she's put comments on a lot of our videos. Um, there's a new girl named Christina, and she's the Blissful Stitch, and she's a younger girl who does crocheting, and she's, I think, from New Jersey. And Creative Mommy, who, interestingly, she shops at thrift stores, and then she transforms these outfits into different things or transforms thrift, thrift store items into different things so that's kind of interesting and she does yarn yarny things as well so those three shout outs um and um so i think that's it for now um again thank you kitty from the yarn closet and thank you all my subscribers and all my viewers um that have come by if you like to subscribe please do so um and before I go, I'll just ask Nono if he will let us know what's for dinner. Nono? Yes. <laughs> Here he comes. Okay, Have you I'm started gonna... dinner yet? Uh, soon. You will? Yeah, soon? No, no, no. no. He, oh, he doesn't want to be on camera. No, He's got shorts good. on. Okay, and what's for dinner? Um, uh, turkey uh, shish kebab, barbecued. Nice. Uh, grilled uh, Japanese eggplant. Wow. And a nice tomato uh, tomato salad, fresh tomato salad for the summer. Nice. And wine. And wine, of course. Yeah, it's yeah. a little early to have my wine, but maybe later. <laughs> so uh, thanks for coming by, and uh, we'll chat soon. Ciao for now. Mm -hmm.